I think this piece is as much contemporary classical music as anything else out there. I mean, I'm using classical music composition structures. I use counterpoint and functional harmony along with jazz stuff. And yeah, I'm using a rhythm section, but all of my favorite composers, and I'm not just talking like Stravinsky, I'm talking Bach, Beethoven, Mozart, they were in touch with the dance rhythms of their time and they used them in their compositions because they knew that all the best music is first a visceral experience, meaning that you like it instinctively when you hear it, and then an intellectual experience, meaning that when you look more closely and analyze it, it makes sense. And a lot of contemporary classical music I'm hearing nowadays is like a thinking exercise. You know, and if I have to think about whether I like something, I'm pretty sure I don't like it. For me, the symphony is kind of the pinnacle of classical music expression because you're seeing the composer's mind working with no limits. Um, you know, the amount of repertoire in existence which is preserved and still being played from when it was written like 200, 300 years ago is amazing. Uh, in my opinion, playing in orchestra is one of the most positive, large-scale human experiences that you can have. Um, but it isn't easy to get a music education which prepares you with all the skills you need to have that experience. People say that the lack of diversity in classical music is a class issue, um, but I believe that it's actually an education issue. And I know the two things are linked, um, but if we are able to admit to ourselves that in fact it is an education issue, then I think the problem becomes potentially fixable. Uh, and as someone that teaches music in schools, this is something that I think about a lot. Working at market helps me to clear my mind. Uh, there are times still when I get wound up because of a deadline or frustrated that I'm not getting what I want out of writing or practicing. And doing a simple day's work, like talking to our regulars, being out in the community, it always helps, you know. We are conditioned to think of classical music in a certain way and I think we've allowed the establishment to decide what it is and how we should experience it. You know, in jazz there's an ongoing discourse between the purists and the non-purists about what it is and what it isn't and jazz is thriving. I think we need the same in classical music and I don't know if you can get it any other way than by 
providing an education system that really promotes diversity and social mobility. I take huge inspiration for classical music and I have my own ideas about what its true core values are and whether anyone agrees with me or not is not so important but I would like as many people as possible to have access to this music so that they can make that decision for themselves. 